Welcome back. Both here in the suburbs and in Nashville, we found something else troubling. People who did not live in a floodplain were still getting flooded, and our investigation led to the flood maps themselves. It's the last thing you want in your home. Raging water gushing in. Your family combing through floodwaters, desperately trying to get out. I remember getting into the water. It was, it was so cold, so, so cold. Michael Hausman and his wife Margaret remember it vividly. Their young family wading through water waist deep last March when heavy rains flooded South Nashville's Creve Hall neighborhood. I honestly was saying every prayer I knew. The Hausmans are near a floodplain, but aren't in it. It's the same story for these people in Manchester and Laverne. This homeowner says she was told by developers not to worry when she bought her brand new home. They did say several times, it's not in the floodplain, it's not in the floodplain. So News 4 investigates started digging and found the FEMA flood maps for their neighborhoods were outdated, some more than a decade old. All of this was completely underwater. It's a major problem. I feel like we've been misled. Chief investigative reporter Jeremy Finley showed our findings to homeowners. Do you think this home should have been built on this land at all? Oh no, definitely not. FEMA says while the maps may be old, they are assessed every five years and local authorities can ask that a specific area be studied by FEMA at any time. Knowing what we uncovered about the dated maps, News 4 Investigates examined the Hausman's home and found preliminary mapping showed the floodplain had changed and they are now squarely in a flood zone. Our investigation found they weren't alone, ultimately identifying 1,000 more Nashville homes now deemed to be in floodplains that weren't before. They actually determined you're now in a floodplain. Oh, wow. That's news to me. I did not know that. Many of them along Seven Mile Creek and the streams on the fringes of the county. Well, I'm shocked, and I think, yeah, I mean, it doesn't make any sense because there's not, this isn't an area that floods often. Mark Vieira, a senior engineer with FEMA, says for these homeowners, the risk was always there. We haven't studied every creek ditch in every community. I think we'll be always doing some studies somewhere. Vieira says COVID slowed things down, but right now there are several studies happening across Middle Tennessee, including a Stones River watershed study and parts of Williamson, Cannon, Rutherford, and Wilson counties. Meanwhile, there are calls for FEMA to do better. Last year, a nonpartisan government agency released a report urging FEMA to make major improvements to their flood maps and address current and future flood hazards. Now homeowners who have experienced the heavy toll of flooding face a difficult choice to rebuild or leave. I crawled under my house about six weeks ago. There was standing water on the tarp mold all on the cross beams. We've been sick for months. In March, FEMA told the Government Accountability Office that they're developing a multi-year plan for this year and it should be done by December. We'll be right back.